Yes, yes, there is something I want to ask you. All right. How do you write so many books so fast? <laughs> I think, oh, uh, I've had a really good six months. I've written three chapters, and you've, you've yeah, finished but... three books in that time. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In July, it'll be 12 years since George R. R. Martin published his fifth book in the A Song of Ice and Fire series. Two remain to complete the story. Since A Dance with Dragons came out in 2011, we've been enduring the long night, waiting for The Winds of Winter to be released. We've seen many promises made by George through the years, only to see them fall by the wayside time and time again. In 2012, he said, I really look forward to publishing it in 2014. My favorite one is from 2019. When speaking about attending the science fiction convention the following year, Martin said, quote, if I don't have the winds of winter in hand when I arrive in New Zealand for Worldcon, you have my formal written permission to imprison me in a small cabin on White Island, overlooking the lake of sulfuric acid, until I'm done. What's funny, though, is that George was somewhat imprisoned the next year, which was 2020, like many people, during the lockdowns for the pandemic, and he still didn't finish. So what's been going on? And will we ever see the winds of winter or a dream of spring? Well, I'm going to run down some of the reasons people have given for why Martin has taken this long, examine those, and speculate a bit on what I think is really going on. One of the most common complaints you'll hear is that George is lazy. They'll point to him blogging about football, books he's read, other TV series, and they'll point to all the conventions and events he attends. This reason, though, I don't really buy. In the five books that have been published so far, Martin has written a total of 4,000 244 pages. That's not the sign of a lazy person constructing an intricate story with an abundance of deeply fleshed out characters for such an extended tale. Besides, Martin's still very active, and it's not just in the role he's played with HBO in developing House of the Dragon, the upcoming Knight of the Seven Kingdoms series based on the novellas, along with other spin-offs. He's also an executive producer for the AMC series Dark Winds. So no, I don't see him as lazy, but I think those that say he's involved in too many things and it's taking time away from wins do have a valid point. There's just so much that people can take on. While novelists can create their own reality with the written word, they're up against the same limitations of time as everyone else. And I also believe at 74, George deserves to do what he wants, to focus on the projects that interest and excite him most. But on the flip side, it's also fair that readers who invested in those 4,000 plus pages want to see the end of the story. Both of these points, while possibly conflicting, each have their own merit. And I don't believe he doesn't want to finish. You don't ever have a day where you sit down there and it's like constipation and you write a sentence and you hate the sentence and okay. you, you, you check your email yeah. and you wonder if you had any talent after <laughs> all and maybe you should have been a plumber. <laughs> Don't you have days like that? <laughs> I think one of the biggest problems for George is that he's just stuck. Look at how Dan and Dave struggled miserably to end the TV series, and the show wasn't half as large as the world Martin created in his novels. They completely cut out the Dorn subplot in the series. It plays a large role in the books. Then we have young Griff, who is allegedly Rhaegar's son, Aegon, and another person who's contending for the throne. And just as it was with Dorn, what is going on in the Iron Islands is much more complex than what we saw on TV. It's difficult for me to see how all of these threads can be tied up in just two more novels, even if each is expected to be 1,500 pages. So I think Martin is having a very difficult time putting all the pieces together and bringing the story to a conclusion. Even in the last book, A Dance with Dragons, the story was still expanding and it wasn't beginning to get tied up. As the book ends, John is still dead, and Danny, after escaping the fighting pit in, on Drogon, was just found by the Dothraki. If you read between the lines from all of George's updates on wins over the past 12 years, you get the feeling that he's written much more than those 1,500 pages. But he's gone back and changed things probably countless times. He's really struggling, and those candid comments he made to Stephen King describe what I think is going on with the next book 
in a nutshell. One angle that I haven't seen anyone discuss is that A Dance with Dragons came out in 2011. That's the same year that Game of Thrones premiered. I don't think that's a coincidence. Yes, the series was huge and that changed George's life. You you can also say that it put pressure on him to not only finish the novels, but also provide an epic conclusion. But I think the main thing here is that for some writers, seeing the characters that they had only seen previously in their minds suddenly in flesh and blood on the screen and being interpreted by various actors can put a real obstacle in the creative process. The TV depiction takes on its own life. And for a man like Martin, who struggles enough in the writing process by himself, this isn't an extra challenge that he needs. Hopefully now that time has passed since the final season of Game of Thrones, he can have some separation and reclaim those characters again as his own. So will we ever see the winds of winter? Yes, I think it's close enough to the finish line that we eventually will. Even though you have to take everything that George says with a grain of salt, in October 2022, he said it's about three quarters complete. My guess is that this includes many of his rewrites. Unfortunately, though, I don't believe we'll ever see the story conclude in the final novel, A Dream of Spring. I know the hope of some is that he's been writing it simultaneously with wins, but George has been clear in the past that he is not. In a recent blog, he said, quote, I just need to finish the winds of winter and then do either a dream of spring or volume two of fire and blood and slip in a new Duncan egg between each of these in my copious spare time. And that will keep me ahead of Ira and his merry crew for a few more years, end quote. The talk about the Duncan egg novellas is because the new series HBO is picking up like Game of Thrones, remains unfinished. So we've seen this story before. George tends to put goals that are larger than he or most people could complete. Well, unless you're Stephen King. Writing is very different for each person. Some only have one book in them. George has had many. And he's gotten more than halfway through a very intricate, well-written tale in A Song of Ice and Fire. It's been a great journey, but one for which we might never reach the final destination. The real irony, maybe, is that just like in the first book, when we were led to believe that Ned Stark was the protagonist of the story, just as in fiction, there are also no guarantees with fiction writers, just as there isn't in life. As Stephen King said, quote, and in real life, endings aren't always neat, whether they're happy endings or whether they're sad endings. That's it for this one. Make sure you hit the like button. And if you're interested in more House of the Dragon and A Song of Ice and Fire content, listen to Caraxes and subscribe. I want to thank everyone for watching, and I'll see you soon.